Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm right in my hands is a very trippy cover of a graphic novel that's out now from Clover Press. It's Project MK Ultra, a graphic uh, retelling or telling of the true story about the CIA's secret program involving psychedelics. It's an interesting graphic novel. It's part one. Keep this in mind. It's very, very important. Part one. So it's by Stuart Kenneth Moore, Brandon Beckner, and Scott Sampola. It's Project MK Ultra, Sex, Drugs, and the CIA. So MK Ultra is one of those things that was a conspiracy uh, that wound up being true. Uh, the CIA dove into psychedelics and particularly LSD and had a whole program involving around them where they uh, gave a lot of doses to people either unwillingly or unwittingly and just, yeah, it's it was all sorts of messed up. It's generally kind of come out that this is a true uh, event and true project. We I don't think anyone knows the complete sense of exactly everything that went on because a lot of the documents were destroyed. But, you know, this graphic novel kind of gives us the basics of the history of it, touching upon some actual uh, real history uh, kind of through a fabricated story. Uh, so it's based on ac uh, uh, actual events, Project MK Ultra, Sex, Drugs, and CIA is a zany, pop culture-laced Alice in Wonderland ride exploring the history of LSD through the eyes of a young, hungry journalist whose life is turned upside down when he's sucked into the absurdity of the CIA's most guarded, top-secret mind control project. Uh, so the story is about a, a, a journalist who kind of stumbles upon the, the project and whose life is kind of turned upside down. Uh, when he attempts to go public with it or, like, go into the story. Uh, and through it, it winds up being a very trippy adventure um, as we learn more about this history and some various characters involved. Um, the, the comic is interesting. I mean, it's one where, you know, we don't know tons about this project, so you kind of just got to go with the narrative, and it does what it can to kind of tell us the basics of what we do need to know. Um, but it's done through such a trippy way, and it's such a visual, uh, interesting way, it's kind of hard to know exactly what's true and what's not. Um, I mean, take, like, something like the Fury, Furry Freak Brothers and some, like, indie comics and mix them all together, some like heavy metal, and like blend it all together in a true story, and this is kind of the result. It's weird. It's really weird. I mean, there's parts where you just kind of like feel like you go off on a tangent, like you yourself have taken LSD. Uh, I myself bought uh, back the Indiegogo version, hence the black light uh, slip cover. I think this is the main cover that you get in, in comic shops. It's an interesting story. I, th I think it plays heavily into the LSD roots down to uh, acid trip blotters, the uh, stamps uh, that you might get. And an art style that is, it's, yeah, I think this kind of sums it up right there. I mean, it's trippy. It's crazy at times. Uh, and it's, you know, offensive and weird and, you know, everything you kind of expect. It, it, it definitely has some uh, interesting influences of underground, underground comics. It takes um, kind of that, like, over-the-top zany style and, and exacerbates it at times. Um, you know, it's it's interesting. It's really, really interesting. I mean, this is not a comic that is um, just like a straight historical story uh, telling of the history of Project Ultra, uh, MK Ultra, and LSD as a whole. I mean, it goes off on weird tangents at times. It takes you through um, trips just kind of show off some of the various LSD trips. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's it's an interesting read. Like, it's enough that kind of gives you the hints as to the history and how it went down, um, but again, kind of leaves you wondering exactly what's true and what's not. Uh, and it just leaves you hanging. This is a volume one. This is a part one of God knows how many volumes. I actually don't know how many more are coming out. So it's interesting. Like, if you're interested in the history, if you want to learn a little bit more and don't know where to start, like, this feels like a decent place to start. It throws out a lot of names to do some research and get you to go and uh, be the journalist yourself to learn more about this very interesting uh, history of the CIA and the United States government. Uh, out now, you can go get this. should be in comic shops now. Uh, we got a link beneath this video where you put in your zip code to tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links, uh, hopefully, where you can purchase your own. Uh, there'll be affiliate links. So uh, there'll be potentially affiliate links so we get a small percentage by doing that as part of the site. So thank you. 
Uh, and I just want to thank you for watching our video. I always appreciate that. If you're into graphic novels, if you're into comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.